What's up everybody? In this video I'm going to show you how to create a border that can go around your design. Uh, somebody asked me for advice on how to get a outline for a solid color to go around a glitter. So in this video we're going to pretend that this purple that I have on the screen here is glitter. So you have your purple glitter design. I want to show you how to do a border around it and set up the border so it's um, the best when applied to a t-shirt. So first thing you want to do is you want to come over here to your right side and you find the little star which is the offset panel and you click on that and then you want to make sure your design is highlighted and then you click offset and it gives you this offset border it goes around. Now you can make this bigger or smaller so it goes real big. You can also click back and make it, you know, really small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where I want the border. So I think that looks good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it two clicks smaller than it than I actually want it. And I'll explain later why I do that. So I'm just going to click it twice. So it was at 0 0.130. Now I have it at 0 0.120. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply it. Now you can see that it's solid offset. Let's put that back. I'm actually going to uh, color in the offset mint so you guys can see it a little better. Alright, so now we don't want to apply the easy weed solid color and then the glitter on top because then you'll have two layers on top of each other and it'll be heavy on the shirt. So what we want to do is highlight both of these and then come over to your right side here and you'll see the modify panel. It's a little rectangle with a circle on the corner. So you click that to open it up. Now when you have both designs highlighted you want to subtract all. When you subtract all, it'll knock it out, punch it, subtract it, whatever. So now you have this design where it's completely punched out. So when you go ahead and layer it, it's it's not doubled up. But if you if you continue this way and you cut and you apply it like this, you're going to have to have 100% alignment to get it so you don't create any little tiny edges. So what I do is I take the offset and then I'll come back over here to the offset panel and I'll click it again and then I click offset and now it creates another tiny offset. Now remember before I shrunk it down so that it wasn't as big as I actually wanted it. So if I create a little tiny border around it and I actually did 0 0.020, which was two clicks from uh, what I did before. And I'll apply it. And then I'll move this out. And then I'll color this back into mint or whatever color. I'll erase the original or delete the original. And then now when I go and put this on top, it creates the border or outline but it gives you a tiny bit of overlap. That way you can, you have a little wiggle room when you're moving this thing around onto your shirt and you don't have to be 100% precise and it'll give you a better chance to line it up perfectly every single time. Now that's just a little trick that I do to save me some time when applying it because you know, once you apply something to a t-shirt, it's a pain to get off, even if you do have um, VLR or anything like that. Well, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. I'll be happy to answer them. If this didn't make sense, let me know and I'll redo the video or whatever. Uh, thanks.